I'm going to do a short video on um, procedurally generating buildings in Builder with code rather than the editor. Um, with the new version of Builder, uh, it comes with an example scene runtime building creation. And um, there's a demo up on the website for this. Um, but this generally, you just, I just whacked a button here, you just keep clicking it. It'll just generate this one. It's only a simple building, um, simple set of textures, but it sort of paves the way for you know um, you to build essentially anything in Builder. Um, so I'll just go through the um, code. So um, in the example, uh, we have runtime building, which uh, has create building script, um, and this is sort of the basic um, script that kind of gets everything running, everything plays from this. Um, so we've got a bunch of variables here, but essentially what happens in the awake, um, we add the data component, data, uh, the builder data component, that contains all of the data that builder uses to generate a building. I um, mean, it, it, it is the data um, model behavior that we uh, manipulate to generate a building, you know, and, and, and change so that it creates a building that we want. Um, we also create the constraints script to object. Um, which uh, the gener generator will use to constrain the data into uh, sort of a into a building that we want and not into a building a crazy building that we don't want. Uh, we've got some basic stuff here where we're setting up um, the, the basic scene, uh, but then we have create building now. Uh, the create building now uh, takes the the builder runtime generator, which is different from the editor generator um, because there are a few things that we'll have to do differently if we're going for runtime. Um, and we send it the data and constraints that we created. Um, we then also have this update render, which is essentially similar to the builder edit mode function, which is down here. Um, it just takes the uh, the generated uh, mesh and it actually creates the game object it puts everything together. Um, so that's something you'll want to copy and paste into your um, project. We also have the update textures which comes with this update render um, and update collider which will create a collider if you want to create a collider or update the interiors and that's it's all basically stuff stripped from the builder edit mode to actually generate the building visually in builder. But um, to generate the building data, that's where everything uh, comes from. So um, we have the constraints here. Um, this is just a big data file. Um, so you can uh, change this in the create building stuff. This is all the sort of default stuff that creates something that's sort of half decent. Um, but you can change all of these constraints uh, here. Uh, you probably want to do it in start before you create building now. Um, but then, of course, uh, what we're really doing here is using the builder runtime generator to actually uh, create the actual data itself. Um, so we have a few basic things here. We're sort of, if we want to constrain the seed uh, that's used, so we generate the same building time and time again. That's possible. Um, but um, the sort of the the meat of this, I suppose, is come is, is further down here. So we sort of have we can generate floor plan data. Um, but if there is always already a floor plan in the constraints, because you can actually constrain the floor plan, uh, you can either, um, I, if you want to create your own floor plan, then the ideal place to do it is in constraints um, and create create your own plan. Um, but what you could do also is, is go in here, because uh, in here we, we do generate our own floor plan. Um, and in its basic, uh, the idea is, 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 is it does have a winding like uh, most sort of polygon polygons um, and, and it's clockwise winding so you want to do it in an order otherwise your building will kind of go crazy it might be inside out or it will be uh, the walls will be cutting through each other um, so there is sort of a, a an order to it um, but this sort of gives you a rough idea of how we're generating a, a basic square um, of that size um, we got sort of get textures and here we're just loading stuff from the resources folder. I uh, builder included um, these four textures in the resources folder. But if you're doing anything at runtime, you want your textures to be here rather than in the textures folder of builder because they won't be loaded into uh, the program at runtime. Um, we've got sort of generate facades, and that just sort of, as you can see here, we're just using the constraints to do minimum, maximum, but. If you wanted to actually generate something s straight away, then you could use the build a runtime generator to actually create a new class that actually just does things 
how you want it um, rather than using constraints. Um, but that's sort of the basic overview. Um, create building uses uh, create creates a constraints. Uh, it, in this example, we don't actually change anything, but you could change things. And then what it does is when it um, when we create the building now, uh, we're sending the constraints and the data to the runtime generator, and then the runtime generator will create a data file based on those constraints. Um, and then it updates the render and renders the building. And that's what we see happening here. Uh, you can see this demo online. It's on the website. Uh, and uh, I hope this uh, was enlightening.